Track Weather Net is sponsored by Mattress Firm, El Paso's largest Tempur-Pedic retailer. Welcome back and a very happy Saturday to you all. The start of the weekend, a nice one with these temperatures around average, but we're going to get even warmer for the next few days. A warming trend is what we're talking about before we dip down again to seasonable temperatures. But if you're heading outside right now, our temperatures are sitting at 63 for the El Paso and Las Cruces area. Plenty of sunshine all across the area. And we're tracking temperatures in the 50s for Guadalupe Pass with 59 Alamogordo and 40s, Cloudcroft and Ridoso as well. Let's take a walk all across town, see how temperatures are, maybe on your side of town. Our Storm Track Weather Net site, sponsored by the Mattress Firm, shows 61 near Trans Mountain with 62 Putnam Elementary School and Anthony, New Mexico. Temperatures are in the lower 60s. For your temperatures overnight, not too bad, still fairly comfortable. 50s by 8 o'clock when we're looking at lower 50s by your 10 o'clock hour. We'll continue to track clear skies overnight and overall a nice night. Our temperatures will be in the upper 30s, a bit cooler for the Las Cruces area. Clear skies though, but 31 is the expected overnight low. But let's talk about tomorrow. It's the big game, Super Bowl Sunday. Here's an hour by hour look at our forecast here in the El Paso area. By kickoff, 430, we'll see temperatures in the 70s. That is our expected high for tomorrow, 72, well above average. Then by your halftime, 66 is what we're looking at. Then our temperatures will dip down to the lower 50s once we get to your 9 and 10 o'clock hour. But as I mentioned, tomorrow, 72 is the expected high. Our temperatures for the next three days are going to be well above average, but it doesn't look like we'll get close to those records. 79 is for Sunday, Monday, and then 78 is the record to break on Tuesday. We're going to remain in the lower 70s for the next several days. And then our temperatures will dip down to the 60s, upper 60s, still above average. And then our temperatures will get around where they should be this time of the year by Friday into your Saturday of next weekend. Dry conditions are well in place for the next several days. So if you want to go ahead and wash that car, feel free to. Don't forget, though, you can download the ABC7 Storm Track Weather and Traffic app to stay up to date on all the changes in our forecast. So you put it all together, and your seven-day forecast looks a little something like this. Temperatures in the 70s, pretty quiet weather ahead. Dry conditions for now. We will have occasional breezes in the forecast, but nothing too strong. And then we'll dip down to seasonable temperatures for Friday and Saturday of next weekend. A look at sports is up after the break. Don't go anywhere.